Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can disable dev tools on your website in JavaScript. Few people also ask same question like how we can disable inspect element behavior on a website. We are going to learn that in this video. We are going to use this package disable dev tools to accomplish the goal. You can see it needs only one line of a code to disable web developers tool. So let's get started. First of all we need to create an index file to work on it. Let's go to code editor. So it will be index.html. We need a basic HTML structure here. A link to a style sheet. We need an input element here. Also, we need one h1 element. Let's put some pricing here. For example, let's make it 9.99. Save it. Now let's create a style sheet here. Select the input element. Display will be block. Margin will be 0 and auto. Font size will be 20 pixels. And padding will be around 10 pixels. Select the H1 element. Make the text align center. Save it. Open this file in the browser. This is the output. Let's try to manipulate the pricing here. So we'll go to inspect. And here we can change it to like $100. See, so we want to prevent this behavior using this disabled DevTools library so that anybody should not be able to inspect the element and manipulate the values. In this page, uh, you need to just copy this part. Let me show it to you where it was. You need this part and paste it here just remove everything except the source now to disable dev tools you only need this attribute disable dev tools auto just copy it and paste it here so when you enter this you cannot use dev tools anymore let me show it to you let's go to the HTML file. When you try to right click, it will not work because the context menu is completely disabled. There is one more shortcut, Control Shift I. If you try to press it, it will not work. So your dev tools will be completely disabled by using this small attribute. Now suppose you don't want to disable the right click feature, but you only want to disable the dev tools, or you can say the inspect element behavior. In that case, you can simply copy this paste it here and make it false in that way a person can right click on your website but he cannot inspect the element or open the dev tools window just save it go to the browser right click you can see but the moment when i will try to do the inspect the window will close see so that's how it actually works let me open that page again now apart from that you can also disable the cut and copy feature you can also disable the selection of content for example let's see this so you can see i can select this pricing but if i want to disable this feature i can do so let me show it to you just copy this paste it here save it go to the browser now if i will try to select this pricing it will not work Let's see the cut and copy paste feature. Copy it, paste it here, save it, go to the browser. Now here, let me type something in this input field, for example this. Now if I'll try to copy this or cut this, it will not work. Let me show it to you. Let me try to paste it here. You can see I'm getting the previously copied text, but I'm not able to copy this thing. Now in a similar way, I can also disable the paste feature. Let me copy this, paste it here. Let me enable the copy and cut, set it to false. Same goes here. Save it. Now let's go to the browser. Now let me try to cut this thing and paste here. 
you can see it is not working let me press ctrl v it is not working now let me enter some text here and see if i can cut and copy this copy let me try to paste it here so it's working absolutely fine i suggest you to have a look over this page to learn more about it because there are various options for example this clear log the moment when you will set it to true all the logs will be cleared in the console log there is also interval option md5 and all that i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day